What's up guys, this is iTweets here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to add custom action extensions in iOS 8. So what this is basically going to allow you to do is a ton of different things. Once you download an application uh, that has an action extension, you can add that into Safari. So for example, if you download Bing, then that's going to allow you to add the Bing Translator action extension to Safari. So that's going to allow you to translate an entire page with the tap of a button. So this is how you're going to basically install this. So if we open up Safari, once you've downloaded an application that has an uh, action extension, then you just tap on the share panel right here. And then you're gonna swipe over here, this section right here is your action extensions, and then we're gonna tap on more. So you can see here's four applications that I have that have action extensions. Well, two of them are actually from Bing. So I have Bing Translator, so if I toggle that on, then that's gonna show up in my action extensions section we can also view source so we'll toggle that on and we'll also toggle on screenshot so once I toggle those on you can see if I tap done that we have these three more action extensions right here so tapping on view source is going to allow me to view the source code for the page if we tap done here and we tap it again if we wanted to translate that, if it was in a different language, then I could just tap on Bing Translator, and it would translate the entire thing. We can also tap on Screenshot, and that's going to allow me to take a screenshot of the entire page. You can see that you can choose to just take a screenshot of the visible portion or the entire page. So if we tap Full Page, then that's going to take a screenshot of the entire thing. So action extensions are very cool. I highly recommend checking them out. You might even just go into Safari and see what action extensions you have available because you might have some in there from the applications that you've downloaded. So let me know what you guys think about action extensions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Alright guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.